So, I'm just sitting here waiting for my GPS subscription to update. And I don't know if it has updated or I don't know. It's I'm getting my accuracy down, so it might. It's getting close. I just text the guy, ask him why. I don't remember. I didn't set it up last time, so you got to renew your subscription every year. Uh, if you're running OmniStar, apparently. Uh, the guy, uh, Jeff Esri, uh, his, I think that's how you pronounce it, he's got a, he's got a YouTube channel he's starting, and he's got a, he's got one of these 9870s, and he's running WAS on circles. I, they told me I couldn't do it because it wouldn't be as accurate. Uh, I'm sure you could do it just laying down singles. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's doing it merging. Uh, but that's, I'm just going to get the Omnistar because, man, I, I like it. So, uh, I'm just, just brought my swather here. I won't start cutting until Monday. Give you a quick look around. I got a lot of new, new subscribers. So, who joined since I put up some cattle videos. This is my, uh, my 9870 wind rower. I do custom cutting uh, in the spring for wheatage and wheat hay and pretty much just any time I can get business. And I just got the, just kind of getting everything set up on it. I'm going to start cutting Monday. Got a brand, uh, Ranch Kev's. There's my merger under there. Tomorrow and, and Sunday, Sunday's Mother's Day. So we're going to brand my mom's calves off her cows. I uh, just threw these on here. Uh, this is I got a little wear on these conditioners and it's supposed to kick hay even further over and actually that same guy I was talking about, he sent me a picture of what him and a couple other guys are doing. The older machines uh, had like another squirrel cage over here and I just ordered the parts for it. She <laughs> just used a Facebook Messenger and sent it to one of the parts guys. Got the parts ordered and it, it's like a four inch dill and it just gets that hay a little further over. Helps it feed better. Uh, I flipped all my knives. But I've got four circles here to cut and bale and but the wheat's pretty thin. So we're going to merge it. And then we'll go from there. Uh, then I'll bale it. I'll put it all in round bales. I just kind of got things things going. I uh, got all the cattle out of the yard, and now I'm now I'm back to doing this. Uh, gotta come down here to this XP, and and it's supposed to. See, it's telling me my my expiration date's 1999, which is not right. So, and it's not, I'm supposed to be on the western region, and it says I'm on overrides. I don't know what's going on. But, that's, that's kind of where that's at. We, probably going to start cutting our own hay four or five weeks from now. But uh, we're we're really dry, and it's we went from really cold. Uh, the ground temp was cold. Everything was cold. People are just now planting corn down here. To uh, now it's super hot and dry and windy, and so all of our wheat all of a sudden has decided it needs to head out and reproduce because it it's just being silly, I guess. So, I'm actually, on, on my stuff, I'm grazing a lot of it out, but what I cut, save back for hay, they just told me just keep the water on it so the plant will actually cool itself. And so I should get about four more weeks of growth. And this stuff's already headed out here, so I'm gonna, we're gonna start cutting this stuff. But 
that's that's kind of where that's at. I wanted to make this video just kind of got a lot of people joined since one of my couple of my Kev videos got a lot of views and I've gained a lot of subscribers in the past couple weeks and just uh, let you know what's going on. We're gonna start cutting hay and branding calves and so just running ragged. Got the kick feeder off the pickup and yeah. Now we're gonna. As soon as I get this set up, I'm gonna go home and get my baler hooked up to my tractor and get it set up and get a moisture meter put in it. But it should all be good. And now we can actually make our equipment payments. I uh, where I'm cutting right now uh, is usually where we cut a lot of silage, and that's how I pay for this machine. I don't, I can't, I can't pay for this machine with my own stuff. It, at all and so I do custom work to pay for my equipment and this guy had decided that he wasn't gonna do any wheelage and that was if he's not half of our business I'd be very surprised I think he's at least half if not a little more than half usually and so I was kind of I was pretty concerned if I was even gonna be able to pay for this machine this year and I, I had already started looking at uh, how much I was going to be able to pay down on it and whether I could uh, just sell it to the guys I work for. And I got enough equity into it. I either buy an older disc machine or uh, a new pull behind. I really don't want to pull behind, but I've got enough of my own work. Probably after this year, I'd probably be fine, but you know, you've got to be able to pay your bills. But since we got this job, we, we should be pretty good. I This stuff isn't going to make much hay. I'd be very surprised if it did any better than two bales to the acre. I'm hoping it does two bales to the acre, but who knows at this point. So we're going to take every bit we can get, and we're going to keep going. I've got three circles right here next to me and one circle another place, and it's, you know, it's not ready this week, but we're going to go ahead and cut these three down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm spending my Friday getting this set up, and I'm going to spend tomorrow and the next day branding cattle. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for leaving comments. That's a big thing. I, I really like when people leave comments because it makes it all worthwhile, so stay tuned for more.